Now we're going to learn about the grand total function. The grand total function is the GT key on your calculator. What does the grand total function do? Well, it will show you the grand total of consecutive problems that you may have done. So let's try an example. You also need to find the GT.RateSet key on your calculator because that will be the first thing we need to set. So set the GT.RateSet switch to GT, which of course means grand total. We're going to do a really simple example here. We've got two super simple addition problems, problem A and problem B. Now these are two separate problems, so make sure you hit asterisk in between to get two different answers. So try these two problems. Do problem A, 1 plus 1 plus 2, and then of course hit asterisk to get your total. Then do 3 plus 4 and hit asterisk to get your total. And then press the GT key. So what does your calculator display on the tape and the electronic readout? Well, on the electronic readout, it should display the grand total of those two problems, which is 11. And on your tape, notice you have three things printed. You got the answer to the first problem, 4. You got the answer to the second problem, which is 7. So that's nothing new. It's same as before. But now you've got this grand total answer on your tape, and it looks like 11 asterisk G. The G stands for the grand total. So 11 asterisk G means the grand total of those two problems is 11. So I'll show you the exact keystrokes on the next slide. So again, set your GT.RateSet to GT. We're going to do the first problem, which means you have to clear it. Asterisk, 1 plus, 1 plus, 2 plus, and we're done with that addition problem. So make sure you hit asterisk. And then we're do, going to do the second problem. 3 plus, 4 plus, we're done. So hit asterisk to print the total on your tape. And then to figure out what the grand total is and to print that on your tape, hit the GT key. So on your printout, on your tape, it should show 11 with the G, meaning it's a grand total. And of course, it should show the two answers to the problems, 4 and 7. So go ahead and press the GT key again. What does your calculator display? It should display 0. Why? Well, each time you press the GT key, your calculator does three things. It clears the grand total. It displays the grand total on the screen. And it prints the grand total on the tape along with the letter G, meaning grand total. So each time you press GT, the grand total is erased. So because the GT function gets erased, memory has a lot of advantages over the GT key. Pressing the GT key displays but also erases the grand total. Using the memory functions allows you to display the number in memory an unlimited number of times until you clear memory with the asterisk M. So you will probably be using the memory functions more often than you will be using the grand total function but they both have their advantages. So let's do these two problems. And we're going to calculate the grand total. So again, make sure your GT.RateSet switch is set to GT for grand total. We're going to start by clearing 77 plus 
368 plus, and we're done with that addition problem. So hit asterisk to print the total on your tape. And then we'll start problem B, 119 plus, 683 plus, 799 plus, 999 plus, and we're done with the problem. So hit asterisk again. And now we want to know what the grand total of those two problems are. So hit your GT key. And the answer, as far as the grand total goes, the grand total is 3,045. And make sure you have the two answers to the addition problems also on your tape. The first problem is 445, and the second problem is 2,600.